College football playoff rankings do not come out until after next week's game for Ohio State at Wisconsin. We're talking after Ohio State's 20-12 to victory over Penn State here at Ohio Stadium. Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com, Andrew Gillis, Stephen Means. And those rankings don't come out for another week, but obviously today's win – has to be put in the context of what it means for an entire season and what it means for Ohio State's resume. Kyle McCord was asked about resume. He said, doesn't matter. Like, we just got to keep winning. We got to keep stacking games. But it does matter a little bit. It's going to uh, determine, help determine where they are and what they'll need to do, let them know what they kind of need to do later on in the season potentially. So, Stephen, you wrote about this after the game. You think that Ohio State right now, today, has the best college football playoff resume. Why? I do. I, my headline was literally they <laughs> they have the prettiest college football playoff resume and they got it the ugliest way possible because they're they're playing ugly football. They have two of these very qual. There are two teams in the top fifteen right now who can say that they lost to Ohio State. That's Notre Dame, who's number fifteen, and Penn State, who's number seven. And Notre Dame did it at home. Oregon has lost. Oregon lost to Washington, but that's Washington's only win of that caliber right now. Oklahoma beat Texas. That's their only win of that caliber right now. Texas would have been in this conversation had they also beaten Oklahoma because they had the Alabama win, but they lost Oklahoma. Georgia's the two-time reigning national cha- champion, and they are just beating everybody, so that's why they continue to be number one in the AP poll rankings. But they haven't actually had a resume-building game yet, and Michigan might be the most complete team in college football, but they're playing us every single week, basically. They, they, they have played Better than me. A little, okay, fine, a little bit better. But they haven't played anybody of quality right now. When you're talking about setting a tone, and that's what those first rankings do. They set a tone for how the committee is going to be looking at things. Ohio State has two wins against top 15 teams, one of which was on the road, and their defense has been dominant. While also, I don't know yet if the committee has lost faith in Ohio State offenses that much yet because of the reputation that's built in. So there's still an idea and a hope out there that they can get to a point where they're the most complete team in college football. All of that combined into one, that should be number one in the initial playoff rankings. Yeah, I think it's an interesting point to bring up about the offense because they do love the offense. They love balance, but they like playmakers on offense. And Ohio State, though, has the playmakers. They have the Marvin Harrison Jr. They have a Mecca Buka. And the committee is going to see that, but I don't know how much credit they'll give them for it if they're not. I mean, Marvin Harrison Jr. is having an amazing season, but the point totals haven't necessarily been amazing for Ohio State. Andrew, do you agree that as of we're standing here right now, 5.30-ish, Saturday afternoon, evening, 5.43, Eastern time. Do you think this is the best college football playoff resume right now? If you're talking this year, it has to be. Like, I I understand that, you know, George is the defending or two time defending national champion. I understand you can kind of look at some of these other resumes and say, okay, well, they did this, but last year. Okay, well, they did this, but last year. Like, if if you're going to put Michigan ahead of them, like, what has Michigan proved to you this year? And I think that you look at some of these other games. Now, Penn State, we talked about this ad nauseum going into this game. Penn State hasn't really played anybody. So, like, we're going to find out over the next couple of weeks, especially because maybe Penn State's offense is just too bad to hold them back. We don't know. don't know because Penn State hasn't really played anybody but I think Ohio State kind of got helped out a little bit by Notre Dame because Notre Dame stomped USC and that's a big win for them and then USC's got to play Utah uh they're gonna they're gonna play tonight as we're recording this Duke's gonna play Florida State Notre Dame beat Duke like that is looking more and more like a quality win as this season goes along and that's coming as one of the better wins in the country and then you throw Penn State on top of that so I understand if you want to say hey you know Oklahoma has the has, has the better win because Texas is better than Notre Dame. Sure, yeah, agreed. Okay, Washington or because Oregon is better than Notre Dame. Washington has a better win. Sure, okay, but at what point does the better win get outweighed by two top ten wins? One of them on the road. So to me, if you're talking resume for this year, Ohio State should be the number one team in the country. And frankly. I wonder if people would be talking about this team differently because we're talking about this defense now as, I mean, maybe maybe the best defense in the country. Like, they're one of the best defenses in the country. Certainly, they might be the best. I wonder if people would be thinking about Ohio State differently if instead of holding Indiana to three points and winning 23-3, you win... 43 to 23 and you're scoring points and the defense isn't there if you're they won by the wrong 20 points you know they beat Purdue by the wrong 30 points they beat Maryland 37 to 17 well what happens if you win 57 to 37 like do people look at this Ohio State team differently if you win by the right number of points apparently Ohio State has been winning by the wrong number of points I understand you got to win some close games along the way but like would we be looking about this at this Penn State game if Ohio State had won 38 to 30 like would would people nationally think about this Ohio State team differently probably 
because they'd they'd have their offense in together. They have their offense in together, and defense defense doesn't sell tickets. But their defense is maybe the best defense in the country. So Ohio State deserves to be the number one team in the country, probably on Monday. I would say. Yeah, I don't know how many uh, number one votes Ohio State will get in the AP poll. The AP poll voters are not as smart about this as the committee is. They're not. I'm sorry, they're not. I used to vote in the AP poll, and the way I voted was very much the way the committee decides. It's based on your resume. It's not based on, like, this feeling that you have about teams. Um, and it, it, it's a really annoying enterprise every Sunday to look at some of the votes that come in. And uh, I don't know how you would justify voting Michigan ahead of Ohio State right now if you care about resume. If it's about how you feel about it and how this team, how you think this team has looked on paper, that's fine. But who has a better road win in the country right now than Ohio State at Notre Dame? Like, you thought at one point Texas at Alabama was better. I wouldn't say that right now. It's not, it's not like significantly better in any way and texas lost a game so like what undefeated team has two better wins in this right now uh, there's there's no argument to me uh, maybe that changes by next week i actually don't know the, the full schedule for next week maybe by the time the first rankings are supposed to come out there will be a change but i think there's a very very strong case because the committee does care about explosiveness and, and the big offense and all that stuff they care about like how you control a game and even today it's 20 to 6 with 30 seconds left. Like, Ohio State controlled this game. Like, I, there was a point in this game where I thought it clicked in that, like, well, Penn State just not going to score. Ohio State's not going to lose this game. And even though it was only 13-6 to six at that point, and that's why we were talking about things like, hey, maybe they should just kick this field goal and, and stuff like that. Um, they, they uh, we can talk about that on, on Buckeye Talk. Get that wherever you can find podcasts. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that, they, like, they were just in control of this game pretty convincingly, I thought, for most of the game. And I think the committee watches these games – they watch every game, they say, and I think that'll show up for them too. And I think just game control is more important than final score, and that could help Ohio State too. We're going to be talking about that a lot this week on Buckeye Talk, wherever you can find podcasts and get the text, 614-350-3315. As soon as the probably bad AP poll comes out on Sunday, <laughs> I'll be texting it out from cleveland.com.